We've got news. The days of a one-size-fits-all sales funnel are long gone. Let's face it, modern buyers are too predictable. The internet is heavily influencing how people shop and buy, and it's put vast amounts of information and freedom of choice into your customers' hands. So, hey everyone, I'm Georgie Carter, and over the next few minutes, I'm going to cover exactly what lifecycle marketing is and how you can apply it to your own business. The idea of a funnel that takes a buyer through four stages of awareness came into play in about 1924, and this may have worked nearly 100 years ago, but the question remains, why are you relying on a century-old sales model, model in a post-internet world? The difference between a sales funnel and lifecycle marketing is clear. A funnel focuses on squeezing your prospects into a narrower and narrower stages. Essentially, the funnel ignores their freedom of choice and even their personal whims, both of which are influenced by the giant rabbit hole known as the internet, including online communities, third-party reviews, social media, conversations online via email or chat, and search, to name a few. Modern buyers are too unpredictable. The internet has given your customers huge amounts of information and freedom of choice, which is impossible to plot on a sales funnel. The sales funnel is too rigid to accommodate the modern buyer's journey, and that's why we need a more fluid, holistic model. So why a marketing life cycle? Rather than a rigid chart, the marketing life cycle is more of a series of open pathways. The buyers can move from one stage to another fluidly, as they often do in real life, sometimes even backtracking or skipping a stage altogether. Luckily, each fluid stage is mapped to the type of content that will win them back. Targeted content marketing will continue to nurture your leads all the way through to loyalty and through your marketing life cycle. And, th and this is actually something we help implement for our Accelerator Programme clients. So life cycle marketing is essentially all about providing your audience with the kinds of communication and experiences they need and as they move through that customer journey from discovering your business all the way through to purchasing your products or service on a regular basis. They run the show, meanwhile, you're there at every touch point providing the value. So why do companies use lifecycle marketing? It improves the customer experience, it creates long-term returning customers and increased loyalty. And by focusing on the journey as a whole, you can account for the full value of your customer over their entire lifetime of doing business with you, rather than just a marathon that ends at the first sale. The benefits of automating your business are obvious, at the same time, designing and implementing a complete strategy that automates your entire customer life cycle is a complex project that requires strategic leadership, excellent cross-team communication, and in-depth te technical know-how. To guide you through the process and make things more simple and actionable, over the next few videos, I'm gonna take you through three of the key life cycle marketing automations you need to attract, convert, and retain more customers.